There's always some young guy looking to take the crown from the king. I say it every year. Rumor has it, you're gonna be a player in this league real soon. Yeah, I got some game. Some game ain't enough in this league. Keep working. Maybe one day, you'll be someone to worry about. Tonight, it's all me, baby. Hey, man. Don't get too comfortable out there. I'm coming for you. Believe that. Oh shit, what did I miss? I went downstairs to get a soda. James Harden talking trash? Did you hear that? What? The sound of this top of the line finely tuned sports car about to pass you like a tired old ride that's standing still. I know you didn't just call me a tired old rod. It's the cycle of life, man. The old model goes by the wayside so neck. the new model can come up and bask in glory. You'll be smelling my exhaust real soon. I know you think that makes sense, but I'm here to tell you that's some of the softest trash talk I've ever heard. Guess I have to show you exactly what the old model still got. Don't break down. They're division rivals, man. They're in their division. The road, looking Gotta for talk a trash. Against the Western Conference rival, the Houston Rockets are getting ready for this thing to get started. It's here's Big Daddy, defended by Beverly. Oh, over Howard. Freeman, Kevin McHale. That's a wealth of post scoring expertise for Howard to draw. Constant contributor in the paint. And Davis Come on. Uh, Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation. This is the team that's held the winning record in the West now for eight straight seasons. That's pretty impressive. It is. Now, here is Davis. 17 points Jesus for him last fuck, game against the Clippers me? in Los Angeles. 18 points a game. Here's Davis. That misses off the backboard. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the oh rest of the game. Man. James Harden with those rush hour handles. Now, here is Harden. 26 points for him last game against Indiana. And Kevin, he was amazing defensively as well. I mean, he was racking up steals left. Ariza, a screen on Anderson. No. Well, James Harden is a pure scorer. But for him to get this Rockets team where they hope to go, he has offensive. Come on, he's James an Harden now. offensive player when he's isolated. But this team has so much offensive talent. I think they're best served. Call my own number. That ball hopping. And that goes for any team, but clearly a team that has the weapons that used to. And so here is New Orleans, following the best ah. by Jason Terry. Yeah, and I think that's where Harden has to take the next step, in my opinion. When he's locked in, he's great. You know, he's got the long wingspan, he's got the strength. It's just... Welcome back, everyone, to Lopsided. Group substitution here for New Orleans. Thank you, Holy Bench. Rush. He's checked in for Davis. Turkaloo comes in for Anderson. We're down Eric only Green, six now. Here's Hushik. Ariza with the rebound. Like theirs, it's nearly impossible. Here's Hushik. Misses it. Oh close. my god. Second shot opportunity. Hushik, no Look good. at that shit. Rockets they can't make anything. 12. And Beverly kicks to Harden. And he was fouled oh, in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three point play. It seems that every pass they make is... He ended with 31 points and played some lockdown defense as well, causing havoc. He was Kelloggian. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. We can use that word. It is, it is now. Well, look at Steve. He didn't like that, though. Uh, look at him. Well, let's just say he was really good. Maybe greatest interior defenders of all time. Evan spins off the box out. They get the rebound. Comes up empty down. That's the story of the game. The offense kicks to Davis. Dwight Howard pulls it in. There's the dish to Daniels. This one for three. And it gets of the course. From deep. Mm -hmm. 102 points in three quarters. In the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it. Goes up to the strike. Nice spin off the left rim and in. For the good of the game. It makes you wonder if you'll see a top Ow. 16 in her count for them. Johnson goes in. Here's Harden. Good. And it's Johnson with the assist. He is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. So we see Houston taking the W here.
Look at this bullshit. Okay, let's hear what Mr. Thomas has to say. Jeff? You know, when the team is struggling like you guys have been, how do you avoid negative thoughts getting in your head? You know, we all have to be professional, man. Live in the moment. A wise man once told me that doubt can only be removed by action. That means I got to get back to work. We all got to get back to work. Uh, you in the dark shirt. Any particular reason your shots weren't falling tonight? I know. I was just bad out there tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if Coach cut my minutes next game. I would. I mean, I kind of deserve it. I really was pretty awful. Hopefully, I could be better next game. Okay, uh, you there. Enough about the team. Let's talk about the personal rivalry that occupies so much of your thoughts lately. Is it a distraction to the team? What are you talking about? I'm talking about two of the biggest players in the league letting a personal battle supersede the needs of their respective teams. Isn't that wrong? I'm motivated every single night, all right? I'm a baller straight from the streets. But you might not know <laughs> nothing about that. And in the streets, you don't get respect. You earn it. And I'm out there earning respect every single night. And if it means being motivated by battling another big dog, then so be it. Even if the team suffers. Team suffer? Man, the team ain't suffering nothing. Not as long as I'm motivated. Are you watching or not? That is not the response I expected. And that's all we have for tonight, guys. Until next time. And I'm still wearing purple pants. Those pants are a distraction.